Okay, this is part seven. Uh, you have to excuse me on this uh, video. I had a, I got about four parts I'm putting together. Uh, it's going to pick up talking about these black pins here that I put into the deck. Uh, I had to kind of chop this up a little bit. So, but just uh, the next scene you'll see it uh, just kind of jumps into it, and you're thinking, "What am I? What am I doing?" But uh, just stay tuned and, and, and follow along. They, uh, they came out pretty nice. I drilled little holes and set them in there now. After about a couple hours of them sitting in there, I thought, well, I better make sure they're in there pretty good. So I went around and tugged on them with a pair of tweezers. About four of them popped out. So I had to put them back in. So remember that when you're putting them in before you go ahead and start tying off on them. Make sure they're in there real good. Uh, you can see I got my cut water finally on there and got all the decorations up front for it that go on I made a few minor changes to it I didn't like the way they had it going together so I kinda did it my own way uh, like I said that that thing didn't fit real good but what I done was is I took some wood putty and uh, let me go over here I got it sitting right here. This don't slide away. I'm at my wife's art table. Don't tell her. And she's got it at an angle and everything slides off. But I'm at her art table. I ain't allowed over here. Okay, I've been using this uh, Elmer's wood filler. It's pretty nice stuff. Uh, I had some other other brand that I didn't like that all that much. It was harder to spread. That Elmer's uh, wood filler right there is pretty easy to spread. I put it on a little uh, sharp point of something and then spread it in there and filled in a, any gaps I might have had especially around where like I said that cut water I got a little wedge in the bottom and it it did a pretty good job sealing up. Now if you can see the pores in them wood like I was talking about how bad they are now I'm hoping that when I go and paint down to the water line and then stain the bottom it'll fill some of them up. That's why originally I talked about planking this thing but the more I thought about it if I had planked this boat it would have been even though it would have been a millimeter on each side it, it might have made it too fat and like I said this is a small ship and, and I don't think it was worth it doesn't call for it so I just I left them off got my two side rails on there got them uh, stained and sealed still got to paint the ship yet but I'm waiting on that because I'm doing an awful lot of handling of this thing and twisting and turning there's the uh, the rear of the ship let me get some of this tape off of here I'm not prepared for this video I had all this on on number six uh, let me let me put you on pause. I'll be right back. Let me get some of this set up. I'm back. Uh, I believe I already showed this to you, but there, there's my transom all finished out. Now I went ahead and I purchased these. Uh, oh, I can't remember what you call them. They're they're for the rudder. Uh, the plans just wanted you to. Um, glued a rudder onto the ship so I went out and bought these little brass pieces hinges is what they are put them on there I got them on the rudder I'm just waiting until I get this thing painted then I'll put the rudder on but let me tell you like I, I, I know maybe I sound like a broken record but their quality control at this place here here's one of their um, windows that go on the side let me zoom in on this and it's laying on top of the plans and you can see how far off this thing is from the plans it's missing probably a couple millimeters on on each side of it it's just not shaped right but I'm gonna have to live with it there's not much I can do about it I've got one on there now 
Let me take the clamp off. It ought to be sitting on there pretty good by now. And they're not very flat on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this. See where it's real shiny? I filed and filed. And that's about the only surface I got that, that's going to uh, meet up to the wood to have the glue to. So, and you can see it's got a letter on it, A, and the other one's got a B on it. Now, nowhere in the directions do they tell you what side is A and what side is B. So, I just had a guess at it. But, I bought some of this uh, CA glue. It's uh, supposed to fill gaps. I don't know how big of a gap it'll fill. But, I got one on there clamped right now. So, I hope it stays on there. We're going to pop this clamp off and see what happens. Um sitting on there pretty good I think. I think it'll hold. But you can see I had to I got one of these rails over here I have to cut into to get that window in there. So there it is. I cut that one out sanded and filed forever trying to get it as flat as I could. But that's the best I can do. Got the little pins back there where the anchor chain is going to go, or not the anchor chain, I'm sorry, the uh, rudder chain to hold the rudder on. It didn't, plans did not call for that either. Drilled a hole up in there so I could fit the rudder up inside there. Once I get it all together, I think it's going to look pretty nice. So, you can see I made some progress. Got the bow all done. Got the keel on get ready to attach the rudder. I believe the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get all the pieces on the deck. Get them all set. I haven't stained the deck yet because I'm going to be using Elmer's glue up there. I want to make sure I get a good bond because I got to move stuff around, make sure I get it positioned right. Those two little holes there are for the uh, anchor rope to go down inside the deck. But uh, I'll wait till I get all the deck set up, then I'll stain the deck, put a couple coats of stain on there, and then I'll finish painting. And then I got a can of uh, spray, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's going to seal that paint off. Because every time I touch it, it just goes everywhere. You can see them little stains there from me touching with the uh, when I was staining them side rails. But they'll they'll come right out. They'll I sand them out a little bit, and then I'll be painting over them, so you'll never see that stuff. So that's where we're at so far. It's coming along pretty good. I probably got a couple more weeks. I think uh, the masks are going to give me some headaches. But once I get that stuff on the deck and get her painted. I think uh, that would be my last thing to have to do is, is work on them mask. Those little pieces there, they got little, they didn't give you no nails for them. I, I just so happened that this ship model had some nails with it. So I drilled some little holes and, and shoved them nails down in there. I, I beat them in with a little small hammer. And uh, they're on there pretty solid. Now the ones on the rudder, I had to cut them down a little bit. They were too big. And I only got one nail in, in each one of the pieces on the rudder. And so I super glued them on and drove that nail in there. So they're on there pretty solid. Okay, I'm back in here. I was took a little break, went out there and was looking at the video that I just made on this part. And boy, I tell you, this, this little camera really picks up some some stuff that it it almost makes just <laughs> this boat look like junk <laughs> but uh, it doesn't really look like that to the human eye but this camera is really picking up some stuff but uh, I noticed there's a few things I wanted to show you that I didn't put on the first part of this video um, here's here's the rudder right there she is like I said, I, I had to trim them pretty much. There was, supposed, there was two holes in there for nails, but uh, they, they stuck way out, so I had to trim them off. Uh, there's the other pin there 
where the chain's going to come down and uh, hold this rudder on in case they you know lose that and that out in the ocean or something they, that chain's supposed to catch it. I keep talking about Elmer's glue. Uh, I don't know. Over here, it's it's white glue. Now, what I'm using is this uh, tight bond that I got, and uh, this this here stuff is uh, a little bit browner in color. It's supposed to be waterproof. Not that this ship will ever see the water, but uh, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Elmer's glue. It's it's the white glue. Uh, I got something else here, that putty I was talking about. This is what I was first using, DAP. It's got a real strong odor to it. Uh, it's it's not it's I don't know it it's I don't know how to explain it. It just it it wouldn't it wouldn't fill in real good. And boy, did it dry! It was drying as you was trying to put it on there. But uh, this one that I am using, like I said, this uh, Elmer's wood filler, um, it's real nice and creamy. Dries in about 15 minutes, it says, and it, it does. In about 15, 20 minutes, I'm sanding on it. Uh, it. It seems pretty good, pretty nice. We'll see how it is when it comes to staining it and things. Oh, you remember some of my early videos how, how bad the hull was shaped and I didn't like it and I did all that sanding on it to get it into the uh, what I would more to the original shape nowhere could I find in the directions where it says to sand this hull other than when you're putting on the transit and it tells you to sand the hull to, to, to fit the transit more or less doesn't say nothing about doing all this down here but let me tell you something. Here's the box. Let me see if I can focus in on one of these pictures here. Yeah, right there it is. They got their hull sanded, just like mine. Now you would think they'd tell you to do that. But they don't. So, at least I did something right. Like I said, I've been jumping around. Uh... I find it much easier to do it this way instead of following the directions and the plans because you know I'm handling this thing an awful lot and if I had some of that stuff on the deck already like they wanted me to I'd probably be breaking it off I did have to put that on there it's where the uh, bow sprint meets that piece of wood right there I did have to put that on so I could get an idea of, of where everything's set and how it lined up. But uh, and I kept thinking, well, I'm gonna snap that little thing off. But it's it's on there pretty good. I I used Elmer's glue on it, and after it set up for about a half hour or so, I came back and and touched around the edges of it with some uh, super glue. So it it's on there good and solid. I hope the rest of the pieces fit on there like that. So, I know, I know it looks kind of junky right now with all these stains all over the place and, and the pores. And I, and I notice a couple places that it's showing up on the camera where it looks like I got nings, nicks and dings and stuff in, in the wood. But I'll tell you what, I can hardly see them. I, oh, I see them now. I just have to sand them down a little bit better. So it's a good thing I am filming this so I can see what's going on. Shows up better on the uh, video than what I can see with my eyes. So I believe that's going to be it for this, this part. So thanks for watching.